Hello, I'm Jacques Landry from Village RV in Regina, Saskatchewan. Uh, this video that we're doing today is to help uh, practice with the circle check for the uh, G license endorsement. That's for traders over 10,000 pounds uh, towing uh, traders behind them. So first thing you do uh, when you go down for your license, uh, you're going to uh, put the emergency brake on, turn your ignition to on, and uh, also uh, turn your left signal light on. So I'll just turn them on here. So basically I have the headlights on low beam, I also have uh, the emergency brake on and uh, left signal light is on right now with my clearance lights. So first of all you start off with opening the hood and with the circle check you are required prior to going down for your road test, uh, your prior first thing in the morning, uh, required first thing in the morning to, to make sure that all your fluid levels, uh, hoses, belts and everything are in good condition. So when you're actually doing the road test, uh, you're more or less just uh, showing that you have, have completed all these tasks. Okay, and uh, basically under the hood, what you want to do is you're doing your inspection under the hood. So this morning before I went, I checked my battery connections. Um, they're all secure. Uh, my windshield washer fluid is full. I have no loose wires or anything on this side of the truck. Uh, I also checked my air cleaner this morning and uh, it is good. Uh, my radiator fluid is, at the, uh, is full. Um, snorkel and everything is all secure up in here and then we just move along kind of you want to check up the on the hoses there's no cracks on the hoses you also want to mention that uh, the belt on uh, the fan belt is is good there's no cracks in the fan belts and then uh, basically then we come over here our power steering fluid is good it's full again main rod hose is good no cracks in it at all and uh, I'm just going to sneak off to the side here. Uh, this is all the reservoir actually for the uh, antifreeze is over on this side here. And uh, also, uh, I checked my transmission fluid this morning and it was good. And I also checked my engine oil and it's good. On this side here, I checked that my battery connections are all in good condition as well and secure. So nothing loose, no loose wires under the hood. Um, all the hoses and everything look good. So basically now we're just going to close the hood and uh, carry on. We stand back and do the inspection of the lights. We, my low beam headlights are working. My left signal light is working. My right park light is working. And also up top on the trailer I can see my clearance lights are working on that as well. The front bump the hood is secure, the grill is secure, the bumper is fastened and secure, tow hooks, everything is secure there. Then basically you come to the front of the truck, uh, to the wheel well. I've got lots of tread in my tires. I have no cracks in my sidewall, no cracks in the rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure this morning. Everything is good. My suspension is all in good shape. My uh, brake hoses are all fine, no cracks uh, or leaks. Uh, my inner tub is all secure, mud flaps are secure. And then basically you just stand straight up so you don't miss anything. You grab the windshield wipers, windshield wiper is in good condition. My windshield has no cracks or chips in the windshield. My mirror is secure. My running board is secure. And then look underneath the truck. And basically under the truck you're looking for if there's any oil leaks, exhaust uh, hanging down or anything like that. Everything is good there as well. Uh, my signal light on my mirror is also operational. And then basically I also, this morning I also checked the seat belts are also working. They're in perfect running order. We close the door. The door is secure. And then we open up the back door and also I mentioned that my seat belts uh, at the back here as well have been checked this morning and my door is closed and secure. My fuel cap is on secure 
and then basically to the front into the back of the truck you're looking for that your locking pin is locked into your hitch locking pin up here and the two pins on this side here as well are good also there's no loose debris in the back of the truck so when I'm driving out it's going to fly out so everything looks secure here and uh, with the uh, tire in here, I've got lots of tread. I have no cracks in my sidewall, uh, no cracks in my rim. I've checked my lug nuts and the air pressure. It's all good. My running mud flap is uh, secure. My springs are all in good shape. My spare tire back there, I checked the uh, air pressure this morning, and it's also secure. There's no cracks in the sidewall and lots of tread on that as well. Uh, the brake hoses, everything looks good in here. Uh, that's all good there. So basically back here, my left signal light is working on the truck. Tailgate is closed and secure. Bumper is secure. My trailer connection is good. My license plate lights are working. And my license on the truck is valid as well. So back here, once you get to the back of the truck, you're going to look to make sure that your uh, pin is secure, securely locked into place, and the pin is also locked on the actual hitch itself. My storage compartment is locked and secure. My landing gear jacks are up and secure as well. Side marker light is working. All my storage bins are all closed and secure. My slide out is closed, windows closed, and all secure there as well. My side marker light is working, and all my storage compartment bins are closed as well. My slide is closed and secure. Windows are closed and secure as well. Here, the sewer hose carrier is all closed and secure. My sewer cap is on, and it's secure as well. My stabilizer jack is up and retracted. It's all secure. No loose wires underneath the trailer. Suspension looks good. Uh, nothing hanging down. My covers are all secure. Same with that. I got up on a ladder and checked that this morning. And then in my tires here, I have lots of tread on the tires. I have no cracks in my sidewall, no cracks in the rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure. It's all good. The suspension, everything is good there. No loose wires, um, no loose wires hanging underneath, and uh, the springs all look good shape. Fender skirts are all secure. My tire, this tire here, has lots of tread. We have lots of tread in the sidewall. No cracks in the rim. I've checked my lug nuts, they're all tight, and my air pressure is good as well. This landing jack, the stabilizer jack, is secure as well. This slide is closed and secure. My right uh, or left marker light is also working. Cord hookup is good. And uh, left signal light is working. And all my clearance lights at the back are working as well. I've also gone up on the roof this morning to make sure that uh, there's no roof vents open or TV antenna or any debris up on the roof. License plates on the back of the trailer are valid and fast and secure. Back window is closed and secure. Side marker light is on and working. Storage compartment doors are all closed and secure. Slide is locked into place. My step is secure. Entrance door is locked. I also went inside the trailer this morning and checked to make sure everything was put away. Everything is good and secure inside. My landing jack on this side here is secure. All my covers, my awning is closed and secure. Fender skirts are secure. And then my trailer tires, I've got lots of tread, no cracks in the sidewall, no cracks in the rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure. It's all good. Again, for suspension on this side here, there's no loose wires. No, the springs aren't cracked at all. Everything is secure in here. With this tire, I have lots of tread, no cracks in my sidewall, no cracks in my rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure. It's good as well. Water heater door is closed and secure. Side windows are all closed and secure. 
My landing jack here is secure as well. And then have a look underneath the trailer on this side as well. And just kind of reconfirm that everything's good under here. Suspension, no wires loose, no wires hanging. Everything looks good. And then we have the side marker light is working. My another entrance door is closed and secure. I also have a fire extinguisher just inside the doorway. Um, if, and it's a good thing to mention. Um, my steps are also closed and secure. My awning arm on the front is all fastened and secured. Storage compartment doors are all locked and secure. And my slide is closed and the window closed as well. <clears throat> my other side marker light is working. My jack is secure. My uh, right mark, uh, tail lights are working. My exhaust system is secure, nothing loose there. Mud flap is secure. And then in the back of the truck for the hitch as well, our, my locking pins are all into place. There's two at the bottom and then one up top here on this brand of hitch. And again, nothing loose in the back of the truck that's gonna fly out while we're driving. And then we go back to this tire. We have lots of tread in the tire, no cracks in the sidewall, no cracks in the rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure and they were all good. In the for suspension, my springs are all in good shape. My brake hoses have no cracks or leaks. Everything looks good suspension wise and all my mud flaps, inner tub, everything secure in here. Again, we check the running boards are secure. My back seat belt is working. I checked that this morning. It is all working fine as well. Passenger door is secure. Driver's door. I've checked my seat belt on this side here. It's working properly as well. And then we just close the door again. Door is secure. Mirror is secure. Then we go into here, my uh, radio antenna is secure. Windshield wiper is in good shape. No cracks in the windshield. Everything looks good there. And then we get into the last tire here. We have lots of tread in the tire. No cracks in the sidewall. No cracks in the rim. I checked my lug nuts and the air pressure. They're all good. The brake hoses aren't leaking. There's no cracks in them. Suspension all looks in good shape. No oil leaks on this side of the truck as well. All my inner tub is secure. Mud flaps are all secure there as well. So now basically you've done a complete circle on the unit. So now what the next step is to, now we're gonna put the right signal light on and the high beams. So I'll just turn that on. So then we start back at the front of the truck and both my high beam headlights are on. My left right signal light is on. And then we just go down the side here as well. So on the side of the truck, my uh, right signal light on the mirror is working. My right signal light on the truck itself is also working. And also at the back of the trailer, our right signal light is working. At this point, you'd uh, ask the, the examiner to, uh, that you're gonna check the brakes of the, and you're, I'm gonna go to the front of the, into the truck, I'm gonna apply the brakes on the truck. If you don't mind, could you stay back here and just double check that my brakes on the trailer and on my truck, the brake lights are working. And so then we just back into the truck here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is turn off my uh, signal lights, turn off my high beam lights, and turn on my four-way flashers. And now it's time to inspect to make sure that all the four-way flashers are working. So I can start right away at the driver's mirror. Four-way flasher indicator is working here. On the left front four-way flasher, it's working as well and on the right side, it is working as well. My mirror four-way is working on the right side. 
and my right rear on the truck as well. And then you basically come to the back of the trailer. My right and left four-way flasher is working. And now we just have the back one on the truck to look at. My uh, four-way flasher is working on the left rear side of my truck, so that is all fine there. So basically the outside uh, inspection is complete. At this point, you would now go into the cab of the truck and do the, uh, the inspection on the interior. Okay, so once you get into the truck, basically what you're going to do is start up the truck right away. I normally take off my signal, my four-way flasher indicator, but you basically do a kind of a, a inspection on the dash of the truck. So over here, my, air, my oil pressure is good. I have lots of fuel. My tachometer, just rev up the truck a little bit, tachometer is working. My speedometer is working as well. My battery charge level is good as well. And my engine temperature is good as well. Then what you want to do is you want to show that your my left signal light indicator is working. My right signal light indicator is working. My four-way flasher indicator is working as well. Also, I have a tow haul button on this vehicle, so basically my tow haul button comes on, so that is working there as well. My dimmer for my interior lights, it's daytime right now, it's hard to see, but my dimmer is working as well on my interior lights. You want to turn on your dome light, like my dome light is operating, and then just more or less turn it off after that. My windows are all operating. Another important one that everybody forgets. Horn works. My windshield wipers work as well. And then for this, you want to make sure that your radio is actually working as well. And uh, just say that I've got a preset on the stations that I want. Uh, but for not for the road test, I'm actually going to turn it off. Then we also want to make sure that my your heating and air conditioning system is working. So basically I can change the temperature. It's going up. I also can go from my windshield. It's now switched up. And then down to the front. It's working as well. And to the floor. So heating system is working, so it's set to the temperature that I want in the vehicle. Also, my uh, sun visors are all working and secure, nothing loose. My door is closed and secure, and nothing loose in the truck, nothing loose on the dash that's going to fall as we're driving. If you have anything that's loose, just move it out of the way. Council, everything's closed, nothing loose on the passenger side, um, back seat, it, and nothing is loose in there as well that would get, uh, would interfere as I'm driving. My tilt wheel, you want to check that your tilt wheel is working as well. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do four brake tests. So prior to leaving uh, and prior to actually putting the truck into gear, you must put your seat belt on and that my emergency brake is already applied on the truck. Basically what I'm going to do is for one of the brake tests is you will put the truck into gear and you'll attempt to pull forward, just step on the gas a little bit. The trailer, the, my park brakes are working. So just release the park brakes and then with this vehicle, my brake control for the trailer itself is on the left hand bottom side. So you pinch it together, step on the brake, try to go forward, it's working good as well. And then the third test is I'm just going to idle the truck forward, apply the truck brakes, and the brakes are holding as well. The final brake test is you're going to pull the breakaway cable on the trailer to make sure that if the trailer became disconnected that the trailer brakes would lock on. So basically now I'm going to remove the seatbelt and pull the breakaway cable off on the trailer. 
So I'm just going to go to the back of the truck here and pull the cable out. So on the trailer, this brake control is fastened to the trailer. So basically, just give it a good pull, and then you go back into the truck. And I'm going to put the truck into gear and make sure that the trailer brakes are working. So first of all, put the seat belt on. Put the truck into gear and attempt to pull forward. And the trailer brakes are holding. So we're good to go. So now we put back the breakaway cable. I'm vertically challenged, so I must step on the wheel and then just slide this back into the trailer and it clicks and locks into place. So basically that's the final of the outside circle truck.